A slice of this rich, creamy baked custard gives you a taste of culture. It's a Greek milk pie, and Becky Lowe at the Dairy Farmers of Utah and Idaho is bringing us this international dessert today. What's the full name? Glipidan. I hope I'm <laughs> saying her right. One more time. <laughs> Gallipida, Gallipida. <laughs> That's why you know, I, I, I am sure my uh, friends, my P Papa George friends, they're going to say she's murdered that. <laughs> but we all know that it's a Greek custard. Good thing you're so likable, Becky. You could say anything, and we wouldn't be mad about it. But uh, custard is kind of custard. a translation, uh -huh. or milk pie, like you said. So it's it's a milk custard. It has cream of wheat in it. Ah, it's actually one of my favorites. Really? So, yeah, yeah. All right. You've been babysitting this at the stove today. So tell us how we kind of get started in making this. All right. I'm babysitting it because I didn't want it to boil over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's a milk custard, so we begin with milk. Okay. We're adding some sugar and butter and just a pinch of salt to this, and then we bring it to a boil. Now, um, there's different regions of Greece that will cook it uh, just a little bit different or prepare it differently. Hmm. You know, some will thicken it up with some flour. I prefer the uh, cream of wheat. Um, that's my favorite. That's how I first tasted it. So. What we have is just some cream of wheat, and I would recommend getting the two and a half minute cooking cream of wheat. Okay. When I was asking um, Helen uh, what, how, you know, how she makes it, she says, "Well, I don't ever make it because it takes too long to stir." She doesn't like all that stirring. And who's Helen? Helen Papa George is my dairy farmer friend. Okay. And she uh, helps with the Greek festival up in Ogden, which is next week. Awesome. And um, you know, she she has given me many Greek recipes over the year, and I just love her. Awesome, Helen. All thank right. you for sharing yeah. with us yeah. too. Yeah. Great. Okay, so she says she doesn't like to stir it. So Helen, this is just a little bit tip. Bring your milk to a boil, and this is not quite to a boil, but if you're just a rolling tiny boil with it, and then you want to whisk in this two and a half minute uh, cream of wheat. So it's gonna speed it up for Helen and everybody right, else. Right, 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 right. Okay, then this comes back to a boil, and you boil it for one minute. So you're not stirring it over the stove for feels like hours mm -hmm. and, and getting your shoulder work out. You're just simply bringing it to a boil. Okay. Okay, so let me swap those out. Sure. And we have, here we go. Okay, now as it sits, it is kind of runny to begin with. It's thick enough. Um, and as it sits, we're going to put some eggs in this. And to put the eggs in directly, it's going to cook the eggs. Too hot. So it's kind of like tempering the eggs with anything. We just want to cool it down partly. And then we have some beaten eggs okay. with a little bit of vanilla. This is how I wish, until wish nice cooking went at home. <laughs> I just too. reached over and there were the beaten eggs. And then I it was just reached to over go. and it was cooled and ready to play. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so with this part, we're going to stir this in. In fact, you do that yes, and I'll pour this in. Kay. So we're uh, beating in the eggs and you want to mix that very well. If you don't, you're going to end up with pockets um, of puffed custard in the middle of it. So you just simply uh, stir that together until it's nice and smooth this and This is creamy. where four hands are better than two, yep, right? It is. <laughs> and I wish I had four hands at home. <laughs> but, you know, we deal with what we have. We work with what we're given. All right. Oh, next sorry. Thing, little um, is that we are buttery. Now, when I first got this recipe, it was uh, from uh, Sophie Saltis, and she was with the Greek Festival in um, Salt Lake, okay. and she shared the recipe with me, and she has since passed away, and when she makes it, it's the huge pans. Yeah. Okay, so I doubled it, I mean, I cut it down to a nine by 13. I've even cut it further to just a nine by nine or an eight by eight because it cooks so much faster and we can still enjoy so it. So if we are feeding a large family or feeding the <laughs> yeah. festival, this is more a size this for is our it. And craft. this size recipe, you can actually double it and put it in the nine by 13 pan, which is, is very nice. Okay. Okay, then you wanna shake it. Okay, get and the smooth bubbles it out. out. Yeah, yeah, gets those bubbles out. If you don't, then you're gonna have a bubble right here. It's okay, it still eats the same. Sure, it's good. sure. This bakes for about uh, 45 to 50 minutes. Okay. Okay, until it, a, a toothpick sort of, it comes out clean. Okay. So same thing. Okay. Last thing is that we wanna make this sauce on it. Now in some places, they will put uh, phyllo dough on the bottom and then put the um, custard in and then phyllo on the top. Okay. And then some places they'll use um, honey, but I like this lemon instead. Okay, so, and I lost my spoon. Sorry. Let's just grab one. Not sure where that spoon went to. We'll find it eventually. Somebody is licking on right? it, I'm sure. <laughs> Someone's having dessert before lunch. Okay, so basically it's sugar, water. It's a simple syrup. Okay. Sugar, water, bring it to a boil. We're actually adding a stick of cinnamon. Uh, cinnamon. Yep, Yum. I like to break it into pieces. And then what we do is just grab this. It's about a fourth of a lemon for this size, and you just partially squeeze it. Okay. And then drop it down. So it's into just a it. really light, flavorful. Yeah, yeah, okay. It is. Here it is. Okay. So when the the um, 
Custard comes out of the oven. Uh -huh. You want to start basting, but you want to start here on the edges and the sides. Okay. Because it's naturally going to puddle to the middle and it just soaks in. And all of this syrup will actually soak into the one custard. Here's an example well, of it. Look at this. You know, this, I, I just love this. Uh, some people like it warm. Personally, I like it cold. Okay. Personally, I like leftovers with it, too. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I think that it would work for breakfast, too. Uh, because why it's not? Like French toast and syrup. Absolutely. Well, now you have uh, custard and, and a nice light Vicky, syrup to go with it. Thank you. Say it one more time just for kicks and giggles. It's called... <laughs> Glepita. It's called Glepita. that. Glepita. We'll call it Greek yeah. milk pie. There and we we'll go. be sure and remind you the recipe is on our website, studio5.ksl.com, shared by friends over the years and perfected by our own Becky Lowe. Thank you for bringing it to us today. Thank you. We appreciate it, Becky.